When people talk about fortune and fame, it's rarely in the context of independent filmmakers. We work in a pretty thankless niche, but it doesn't always have to be that way. Here's a list of 11 film festivals with prize purses at or over $65,000. Seven of them are actually at or over $100,000. Now, these are not entirely cash prizes. A lot of film festivals quote their awards to include first look deals, which don't necessarily guarantee anything. Filmmaking equipment like cameras, rigs, microphones, perpetual software licenses, and all of that goodness, and in-kind services like equipment rental, software, mastering, color correction, editing, memberships, blah, blah, blah. Let's get to the list. The first one up is the Vancouver International Film Festival with a prize purse of $65,000. Now, this is Canadian dollars, but you can offset the exchange rate by factoring in how gorgeous of a city Vancouver is. If you haven't been, go, even if it's not for the film festival. The purse is made up of cash prizes along with post-production services credits and equipment credits. Vancouver is Canadian Screen Award qualifying and has a 40 plus year legacy. Second up is the Sydney Film Festival, which is actually the first of two Australian fests to make this list, coming in with a prize purse around $75 dollars and that's already adjusting for the exchange rate. It's a huge festival with over 100,000 annual attendees and 200 films screened each year. It's Academy Award qualifying and as far as I can tell the prize purse is in Entirely, entirely, entirely cash. Third on this list is the Heartland International Film Festival in Indianapolis, Indiana, also Academy Award qualifying. We're looking at a $90,000 prize purse, also all cash. This fest has been around for three decades and typically receives about a thousand submissions each year, presenting 20 awards across 300 films that they feature. Now, the next four film festivals all have $100,000 prize purses, so I'm sharing them in no particular order, which puts Miami Film Festival in the fourth spot with an all cash $100,000 prize purse. They bring in about 45,000 attendees and feature 100 films each year. They're one of those film festivals only slightly outside the Big Ten, with super prominent attendees like Richard Gere, Rashida Jones, and Sarah Jessica Parker. They're also a perennial top 50 worth the entry fee with Movie Maker Magazine. Heading a few hours north of Miami, number five is the Atlanta Film Festival, which is both Academy Award and Canadian Screen Award qualifying. Matching Miami with a $100,000 prize purse, they sort through over 10,000 submitted films and screenplays each year, eventually presenting 175 films across 11 days. While their prizes aren't entirely cash, they do include a theatrical run for their best narrative and best documentary features, along with their best Georgia feature and camera rental and post-production services. There's just something about the Southeast and their love for movies because number six is the Nashville Film Festival, the third $100,000 festival we're chatting about. Nashville passed half of a century of life, making it one of the longest running film festivals in the United States. Their prizes include both cash and in-kind services, and as icing on the cake, they are also an Academy Award qualifying festival. Now, last but not least in that $100,000 tier level is the New Orleans Film Festival considered by festival fanatics to be one of the truly great hidden gems of the film festival circuit. With 25,000 annual attendees and running over 30 years, this Academy Award qualifying film festival selects 200 of their estimated 6,000 annual submissions. Their prize purse is broken down into camera packages, film stock, production services, and software. Jumping a whopping 30%, number eight on the list has us heading to Cleveland, Ohio. The Cleveland International Film Festival has a prize purse of $130,000. This festival checks every single box. Top 100 on Film Freeway. Check. Academy Award and Canadian Screen Award qualifying. Check. An all-cash prize purse. Check. Over 40 years on the resume. Check. Over 56,000 social media followers. Check. Its own podcast. Check. 28,000 in-person and 48,000 virtual attendees. Check, check, and check. Let's jump back to Australia for number nine, the Melbourne International Film Festival or MIF, or if you're an American, Melbourne. I'm an American. It's fine. This has the trifecta of awards. It's Academy Award, Canadian Screen Award, and BAFTA qualifying. That's just a sweetener on the $131,000 prize purse, and I did take the liberty of converting that to US dollars for you. 
This premier Aussie fest is in its seventh decade and accepts over 30 films from 80 plus countries each year. While number 11 on this list is probably going to make you roll your eyes, number 10 is another phenomenal sleeper festival, the Hamptons International Film Festival. Yeah, go figure, the Hamptons have a little bit of money. To get to the Hamptons, you effectively take a train a couple of hours northeast of New York City to the outskirts of Montauk. Montauk. While it's a ways out of the way, this is a festival with three decades of lineage, which manages to qualify films for both the BAFTA and Academy Awards. Their prize purse is estimated to be around $157,000 in both cash and in-kind goods and services. And that brings us to the pinnacle of film festival prize purses, and arguably the pinnacle of film festivals itself. It is the Robert De Niro-backed Tribeca Film Festival, or as it's known today, Tribeca Festival. Another trifecta when it comes to Academy Awards, BAFTA, and Canadian Screen Awards, Tribeca is locked in as one of the best, largest, and most prominent film festivals in the world. Not only do they have a cash-only prize purse of $160,000 for films, they also give out $219,000 in cash prizes for artwork. Are there any film festivals you're shocked made the list? How about film festivals you're shocked didn't make the list? Sound off in the comments below. It seems like you're pretty interested in film festivals, so why not check out this video I made on the longest running prominent film festivals. There's a couple on here I'd have never thought about submitting to. I'll catch you in the next video.